So I think we made it pretty clear with our previous news stories that we weren't hyped for Fear 3. So Fear 2 was good, but not great, and I would say the same thing about the original game too. While the horror moments are great and the atmosphere is intense, I just felt it was very repetitive. You knew when you were going to take on about 10 enemies because you'd enter an open room. Fear 3 is similar, but there are definite improvements. The environments, for one, are a lot more interesting. I've wandered around a forest in a mech. I've walked through sewers, and I've even used, the f and even in the first interval, uh, it's in a, it's set in a prison facility. I haven't come across a single office building yet, like the previous two games. It's really quite refreshing. The enemies are also a little more varied. You still face the guys in SWAT gear, but there are also enemies that resemble the guys in Condemned 2, which look mutated and not padded up, and use whatever piece of metal they can find on the ground to try and beat you to pulp. This makes the game a, a game a more refreshing experience as well. The scares are still there as well. Alma will appear and disappear in a blink of an eye. Shadows will play mind games on you and bodies will suddenly come to life and try and take your life. Despite a lot of it being done before, it still creeps the hell out of you when you're playing in the dark and anyone who says it doesn't is full of shit. The Day One Studios, who are not the original developers, has also implemented, implemented a scoring feature. This is because the game was created for co-op play. You're supposed to team up with Paxton Fatel, the main antagonist from the first Fear. Paxton's dead and features many psychic abilities, including possessing an enemy's body and then using their weapons against their teammates, and also a psychic blast that causes damage. If you choose to play Fear 3 alone, then you can replay the intervals as Paxton later. But back to the scoring, it works similar to Shadow Complex. Kill someone with a particular weapon 10 times and you'll get points. Find, uh, find psychic links and get 1500 points. Do something else and get more points. The player with the most points scores the Favourite Sun award and unlocks items. So I think Fear 3 is probably the best game in the series. It is a lot more fun than the previous games and the co-op adds a new dimension and is actually really implemented very well. Even if you choose to play the game single player then you can always play through it again as Paxton and it's a completely different game. So I think for all of this, I think Fear, is, Fear 3 is uh, highly recommended.